So this is my first time doing anything at TheaterWorks. So I'm really excited to be here and participating and you know, it's just an amazing environment. I love it. <laughs> a few months ago, a few friends of mine were saying, hey, you know, um, I think you would be a great Horton. And there was another Susical, I don't know, somewhere else in the valley. They said, hey, you should audition for it. And I missed that opportunity. So I figured, why not do this one? And it worked out really well. <laughs> and I'm, like I said, I absolutely just am loving the experience. Horton is, I think he's in his own world. Um, he's very compassionate, but he's also alone. And he feels lonely. Um, he's looking for just someone who understands him. And I think he finds that in Jojo, um, because Jojo has his tremendous imagination and he can see things that other people can't. And so when he finds the Who's on the Clover, he just, his world just changes. I think the biggest challenge for me has been really just adjusting um, to Horton, because I don't typically play <laughs> roles like Horton. Um, Typically, I've played roles like Sky Masterson or Will Parker in Oklahoma and in Guys and Dolls. And um, it's just been a challenge, but it's been a fun challenge and one that I've really enjoyed taking on. Those characters, they're more kind of, you know, smooth and everybody really likes them. Whereas Horton, you know, it's not that people dislike him, he just is by himself. And it's just, it's really interesting kind of shifting from those characters to this new one. My favorite moments are every time that General Kangaskhan Schmitz comes on because Joe is such an amazing talent and he just brightens up the stage every time. And so I just, I laugh and I laugh and I laugh every time he's on stage. <laughs> the sets are amazing, uh, the cast is amazing, and maybe, just maybe, I'll make you cry during Saul's Salute. <laughs>